Bleaching in corals is a stress response, usually to high temperatures. So the high temperatures that we've had lately, the low winds, are causing the corals to be very stressed. And when that happens, um, they expel the algae that lives in their tissue, which makes, makes them actually appear pure white. Um, so that's what they look like when they're stressed. And we've had several reports from the community and from scientists on the windward side of Oahu um, that are telling us that we are experiencing a coral bleaching event. Um, today we're deploying our DAR rapid response team uh, in response to several reports that we've had of coral bleaching. Um, what we're doing today is we're going out with the rapid response team who are surveying different areas on the windward side of Oahu to try and understand the geographical extent and also the severity of the bleaching that we're seeing. Um, what we know so far, yesterday the team was in Kaneohe Bay. They surveyed several different patch reefs all throughout the bay um, and they were finding various degrees of coral bleaching. Some that was severe, um, upwards of you know, 70-80% of the corals were bleached and some that weren't uh, as bad. So there looks like there, there is a bit of variability. And um, today we're at Lani Kai Beach to look at some of the near shore patches of coral to see if they're also experiencing bleaching. Um, we also are working with a team of divers from the Nature Conservancy. They're going to some near shore reefs over in Waimanalo and uh, looking for the same thing. We do believe that in this case the coral bleaching is caused by high temperatures, so managers can't really do anything about that. But one thing that we can do is to limit any kind of additional stress that the corals could experience. So, um, you know, even as citizens, we can do things like, you know, just be sure to be extra careful around corals that are experiencing bleaching. Try not to disturb them, um, try not to touch them. Um, things like that. that. Anything we can do to eliminate additional stresses will help the corals get through uh, this bleaching event. When coral is bleached, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're all going to die because of it. Um, when temperatures or if temperatures do come back down, the corals can, um, can regenerate their algae and um, and return to a healthy state. And the last substantial bleaching event that we saw in the main Hawaiian Islands was back in 1996. Um, that was also in this area of Windward Oahu. Um, you know, on an annual basis, we do see a bit of coral bleaching. It is fairly normal to see bleaching, um, especially during the peak season, which is um, July through October, basically the summer months here in the Pacific Ocean. Um, but it has been a number of years since we've seen this much coral bleaching here in the main Hawaiian Islands.